Another newcomer. Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Nope, sorry. I got enough fires to put out in this place that I don't have time to keep tabs on every visitor. I'd ask around town. Sure thing, par- You'll probably want to see Moira at Craterside Supply. She sells some weapons. Makes some too, from what I hear. Her place is down by the crater. What about it? I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? Do you think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But listen here. Just take a look at it first. Go easy. If you get the job done, there'll be 100 caps in it for you. Not an option, I'm afraid. We aren't exactly rolling in cash down here. Well, that's mighty decent of you. Just don't... You know, go blowing us up. All right. Well, come to think of it, I do remember a stranger coming through here. Had a look in his eye. You know the kind a man gets when he's got a purpose. Spend some time up in the saloon. Might want to check with Moriarty. Just watch yourself. That man's trouble. Have a good one. the clouds and every the eye shall be blind with his glory and every tear shall be stricken death to hear the thunder of his voice let the men women and children of the earth come forth to gather and behold the power of Adam let those who dwell here in his favored land That's secure for a reason. Do for you, Daddy O. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past.
My God, it's you. The little baby boy all grown up. Persistent little bastard, ain't you? Then and now, it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? Oh, the lies we tell to those we love. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Ah, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. From some other fella escaped. Oh, five years back. All hail the overseer, we're born in the vault, we die in the vault, and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? Did he? Well, our time together was brief, but that is the way of it out here. When a bond is forged, little else matters, hmm? Well, he did come through here, but he left. I'm truly sorry. But maybe you can catch up to him. He headed southeast into the city. Said he needed information from those lonies at the station. You know, Galaxy News Radio. What there is of it. Galaxy News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lad. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Stay the fuck out of me business, don't go where you don't belong, and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So, I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing? She's afraid. Of what, of who, I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Come on! Come on. A tra I don't recognize you. New in town or something? I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? Great! I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to, since you're doing me a big favor and all. Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, 
I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Finally, someone with a modicum of civility and common sense. I represent certain interests, and those interests view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. You have no connections here, no interest in this cesspool's affairs or fate. You could assist us in erasing this little accident off the map. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Is that the best you can do? I'm afraid I'm not impressed. Sims is an idiot. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. Is that the best you... You mean, besides doing the world a favor by removing this pestilent scab of a town? Why? You'd be rewarded most handsomely. My employer is a very generous man. If it's bottle caps and luxury you're seeking, you shall have it. Excellent. I had a feeling about you. Here's the fusion pulse charge. It needs to be installed inside the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Tenpenny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Questions? Lack the aptitude, you mean. You're not rewiring the thing, just attaching the pulse charge to the detonator. If you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. He might have something to help you concentrate. He's got a bit of a reputation. Don't let me keep you. Just Goddamn radio. Information I got. Glad to talk. Yes. Evening. Hello again, America the now, Magnificent. Now, you're a man who looks homeless. What, you what would, do you need? And I was hoping we could talk. We live in an well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. DC yeah. Has been reduced to what is now known as the Capital Wasteland. Damn it. Who told you I, I mean, How did I have no idea what you're talking about. How did your leaders allow the most powerful nation help. on earth? What's to help? To die. So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. Really it's not like I'm hurting anyone. Incompetence. Incompetence. Nice the try. Highest echelons of power. Hello 
again, America the Magnificent. Welcome. This well, is President Eden, and I was hoping we could talk. Nice try. Hello again. America Welcome to the, the Brass Magnificent. Lantern. This well, is President Eden, and I was hoping we could help. We live in an age of poverty, greed, violence, I just don't know what to say. Indeed, I've been stealing from both of them for years Washington to get my fix. Where do I even start? Well, I'll Capital figure something waste. out. Look, I want to waste. thank you for your help. How did it I guess it to took this. a complete stranger to show me How what an ass I've been. Allow the most Take this key. It's to my private stash in the water treatment plant. Just get rid of the stuff. Burn it, sell it. I don't care what happens to it. Thanks. It'll be hard, but I'll do my best. We put our trust, our faith, in half-wits. Our intrepid leaders had everything they wanted. Power, wealth, prestige. And it made them lazy, America. Oh, yes, and Behold, laziness breeds stupidity. Rest assured, Every I will not make the mistakes of my predecessors. When John Henry Eaton builds a country, he builds it to last. The American way. Don't you, my darling America, deserve that? Don't you deserve a future free of war and fear and terrible uncertainty? Of course you do. As President of the United States, you have my solemn pledge that I will never rest, never rest, until we have what we deserve, a place to truly call home. Reflect upon all I have said, my America. Reflect and wait for soon. This great nation will be reborn, and the Enclave will be its salvation. Until we meet again, this is President Eden signing off. And the resplendence of the promise of our division in the times to come. Give your bodies to Adam. my friend release yourself to his power I'll be damned you did it didn't you you disarmed that thing and all without asking for pay too hell why don't you move in here's the key and the deed to an empty house consider yourself a megaton citizen Oh, and talk with Moira at Craterside Supply. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Hey there.
Hello again, America. This is John Henry Eden, your president. There are some things we should talk about. That's all right. When I was a child, growing up in rural Kentucky, I had the best friend a boy could hope for. My dear old dog. Oh, ho, ho, the adventures we had. From Nod Creek to Hoganville we roamed. Carefree and courageous, irresponsible, and completely inseparable. Was, for a little boy, the perfect existence. So let me ask you, America, how many of your children can say the same? How many of this nation's youth are truly happy, truly carefree? Well, we both know the answer, don't we? None. America's children live in a terrifying, meaningless existence. There is no hope, no happiness. That changes right here, right now. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. A runaway dad, huh? I've seen plenty of them before, but none with the big 101 on their back. Good luck finding him. Maybe the armored vault suit will help you out there, huh? That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Good to see that old house finally found an owner. I have all sorts of items and themes for that place that may interest you. Of course I can. Which one in particular interests you? Some people don't like. Purchase a theme from me and I use all of my design abilities to set your place up in the manner you request. You can choose from The Vault, Raider, Wasteland Explorer, Science, Love Machine, or Pre-War Themes.
You're the intellectual type, eh? Remember, once you buy a theme, you can't sell it back to me. Although you could always purchase a new one. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. Imagine. Perfect, cloudless day. The sun is warm and welcoming. And on the horizon, they appear like knights of yore, armed with bats of ash and hickory. Their name, the Capitol Congressman. Their purpose? Make you, dear America, revel in the joys of sport and sunshine, if only for an afternoon. Now, ask yourself this. What if the Capitol Congressmen could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania? Behold! Maryland? 